Hey guys, my name's Erin from EnthusiasticJoyfulLife.com and today I just wanted to share with you a myofascial release technique for jaw pain. So I have had TMJ probably for the last 16, 17 years that I can remember. I've always grinded my teeth while I'm sleeping, clenched, I'm not really sure why. It's eased up um, over the past six years or so since I've been practicing yoga, but I still do clench, especially when I am really stressed out. So I have had at least a dozen therapists work on my jaw over the years. Some of them have been moderately successful. Some of them have been not successful at all. I've had it adjusted by a chiropractor. I've had a little bit of intraoral work done, which if you've never had it done, it's extremely uncomfortable. But a couple months ago, I had a new therapist work on my jaw and she used a myofascial release technique called skin rolling. So if you've never had skin rolling done, uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable at first. When we were first learning this technique in school, it was extremely uncomfortable on the back. Now I actually like it because it's not as painful and the benefits are pretty profound. So um, when this, therapist was doing this technique on my jaw, I, I was laying there thinking, OMG, she's skin rolling my jaw. I had never thought of that. Um, but it definitely worked very well. And this is something that I have uh, my other classmates do for me when we're doing massage on each other. And it is something that I request whenever I get uh, jaw work done now. So Again, as I said, skin rolling is a myofascial release technique. So you're working not just with the muscles, but the fascia as well. And fascia is connective tissue. So there's superficial fascia and deep fascia, but we're working mainly with the superficial fascia today, which encases the muscle. And in case you didn't know, if even if your muscles are relaxed, if your fascia is really tight, the muscle can only relax as much as the fascia is going to let it. So if you think about the white membrane on the inside of an orange, you can think of your fascia like that. So the white membrane on the orange is holding in the juicy uh, actual pulp of the orange, which you would think of as your muscle. So before we begin, you want to make sure that your hair is pulled relatively back away from your face. If you wear glasses, go ahead and remove those and make sure that your hands are clean and your face is pretty much lotion free. Um, I washed my face a few hours ago and put some lotion on afterwards and that's fine, but you don't want to just hop out of the shower, put lotion on and then try and go and do this technique. Or also at the end of the long day, at the end of a long day, if you have been sweating, uh, all day, then I definitely would recommend that you wash your face before we try this because skin rolling, uh, you pull the skin and the fascia away and if you have lotion, your fingers are just going to slip right off. Okay, so we're going to start on, I'm just going to start on this side. It's a little bit red because I've already been doing it. So what you do is you basically grab the first layer of skin and the underlying tissue and then you lift the skin, pull it away and then you press up walking your fingers up okay and then you move over and press up it gets really tight over here next to the ear also if this is your first time doing this it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable i don't want to mislead you so the more you do it the looser the fascia gets and the less painful it is just keep that in mind. Um, when I first had it done, when she was doing it, it was really, really uncomfortable. But by the end, when she kept doing it, it became less uncomfortable because the fascia really has loosened up and has allows for more movement. Okay, so we're gonna do both sides. Start on one side first. So again, what you're gonna do is grab the skin and the underlying tissues, just like this, and you pull away. There's no downward pressure, you're just pulling away. And then you press your thumbs up and walk your fingers up. And you see I lost it up here next to the ear. Move over, pull away, and press up all the way up. And then come down one more. And now you're working diagonally towards the ear. Remember to breathe, this can be really uncomfortable. So I've done about three passes and on this last one, I've gone diagonally. So once you've done your first round of passes, go back and do it again. And you can just use one hand. It's getting easier. Up towards the ear. Woo! 
Ooh, okay. So I didn't want to go into too much anatomy in this video because I wanted to keep it short, but if you hop over to the blog post, which is linked below, then you can see I have a little picture of the masseter muscle put up for just in case you're an anatomy junkie and you want to know. So after you've done the skin rolling on one side, move over and do the skin rolling on the other side. And again, you can use both hands or just one. And I actually find that the opposite hand works better. So my right hand to my left jaw and then my left hand to my right jaw. And again, you just pull. And you don't have to start back here. You can start here. It doesn't matter. You can see I started differently on this side. This side is a lot tighter because I've already been working on this side for the video and it's more painful and it's harder to pull away. You might notice that when you first go to pull away that you, you can grab it and then once you start moving, it really slips out of your hands. Either A, your lotion, your hands or your face are too oily or lotiony, or B, your fascia is just really tight and it's just gonna take some time for you to work with it and get it to move under your fingers and that's totally normal. So once you have done one, two, three passes, go back, do a second round and maybe even a third and then move over and do the same thing on the other side. And again, you can start here and go across or you can start back at the ear and go up, up and then across. It's up to you. So do a minimum of two sets of three passes on each side. And once you have done that, then you take your fingers like this, really gentle pressure with the thumb and then you're just gonna run the jawline. back like that. And then once you get onto the masseter, you can feel it. If you can't feel it, open your mouth and you'll feel the muscle move under your fingers. Just some gentle static pressure holding. And then move up. And again. And that was just a count of three each time and you can do that a few times. And again, you can do this one again. It feels good. And then you can just do some circles. Make sure you go both directions with the circles. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna go back <clears throat> and grab again. So just start on one side. So we're not gonna skin roll, but you're still gonna be moving the fascia because we're going to grab the skin and then move this way. So you grab your skin and then shake really gentle. It doesn't have to be like a vigorous shaking. So we're still moving the fascia and you're doing it also. This one is a little bit of cross fiber because the muscle fibers come down like this. And you can do this as many times as you want. And again, you'll notice it gets tighter next to the ear, maybe more painful. This is normal. And make sure that you do both sides. The last one that I like is you find like the edge of the muscle. So you can open your mouth and walk your fingers down to the edge. I do this in bed. My husband thinks I'm really weird, but it feels good and I get relief. And then you just press back, not down, but back towards your ears. So you can just hold for as long as you want. And you might notice that, see this side I haven't done as much work on and my fingers really tr sliding over the muscle, but I'm able to get more traction on this side because the fascia is looser. Okay. so. If you guys have any questions, uh, I can do my best to answer them. You can leave a comment below or you can pop over to the blog post and leave a question there. If you have TMJ or you clench or grind, I would really love to know if you tried this and if it works for you and what you think of it. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it brings you some relief. One of the things you can try to see if, besides how it feels is just when before you start doing this is open your mouth and see how tight your jaw feels. And then when you're done with the skin rolling, open your mouth again and you should feel considerable, considerably less tension uh, in the jaw muscle and the surrounding fascia. Okay, hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.